This is Belinda and I'm here today to show you another tiny tip in Microsoft Power BI. In this particular report you see on the screen, this visual at the top on the right is the same as the visual on the bottom. They're both matrices. So how do you make your matrix look like the one on the bottom? It's much easier to read than this mess here. Even if you try to stretch this out, it's still much easier to read in the format that it is below. The matrix is very similar to a pivot table in Excel. So we're going to basically do the same thing you would do in a pivot table to achieve it, which would be set it to tabular mode and remove the subtotals. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select this. We're going to go into formatting and on our formatting, the first thing we're going to do is set it to tabular. And to do that, we would open up the row headers and simply turn off the stepped layout. And now we have a whole different experience here. Let me see if I can squish that natural environment up. So that looks a whole lot better. And actually, let me squish this one up. Cool. All right. And it's looking a whole lot better, but if I scroll down, I still have the mess of the subtotals. So still, while we're here in the format, let's collapse that row headers, open up subtotals, and turn off the row subtotals. And now, if you have it collapsed, it shows you the subtotal, and if you don't, it shows you the detail. So this is an easy way to make your reports a little more powerful. Just don't mess up the the column width like I have right here. And I hope this tiny tip helps you.